As the Marketplace on Craft exhibition got underway at Lenore Synthetic Track today, many local producers from across Guyana took the opportunity to showcase their products while encouraging Guyanese to support these local businesses. Approximately 40 booths were established with innovative craft clothing and other packaged foods, some of which are available in local supermarkets and stores. The evening news caught up with some of these manufacturers who highlighted some of their products. Welcome to Lisa's Manufacturing, where we bring to you the best and authentic Guyanese flavors. What we manufacture and bring to the Guyanese public is the carambola fruit, otherwise known as five finger. The same fruits that you would take to make the traditional Guyanese black cake at Christmas. Yes, that's what we manufacture. Apart from that, we've also added some confectionery and snacks. We have the plantain chips, cassava chips, and the chicken foot, or as Guyanese may call it, the salzio. Um, we also have some tamarimbo and um, we recently started the pineapple jam and the um, pineapple jam and guava jam however that's a very seasonal those are two seasonal fruits so we don't exactly do it on a large scale however the carambola fruits that is what we would do as on the large scale on cap this is my third time for being with on cap and it's been really really overwhelmed being with on cap because we get a lot of people coming in and never know about your product and they're getting a chance to see about my product and learn about the different um, different flavors I'm having. Um, my flavors range from um, sour sap, golden apple, tamra, mango, ginger and garlic, passion fruit and pineapple. We are the Women's Agro-Processing Network Development and today we are here at Uncap. This is for the fourth time and we have a variety of products. We are 13 groups in this um, organization and each of us has different products that we make. So we have um, out of Region 9, we have the farine, we also have the um, Arnaputa peanut butter and out of Region 2, we have the acai wine and we have cherry wine and guava wine, the different wine, and sorrel and the fruits. I mostly do dolls. I have different type of dolls, but I don't have all of it today on display. This one is for shaving. This one is the peel from the corn. And this is banana leaf. I also have this one here made from coconut fiber. And I have the Indian ones made from fabric. I also have religious frames. And I have locally made magnets. I have locally made necklace also here. Today we're having a hair and scalp conditioner that's made with coconut oil. This is a hair product that replaces your normal hair grease. They don't have no petroleum, no, lan no lanolin. We produce uh, extra virgin coconut oil. We have here the skin care, extra virgin coconut oil. And we have for, um, for consumption. We also produce the edo flower, potato flower, plantain flower. This is one of several exhibitions that were held over the last months by the Guyana Marketing and Services Association to assist producers with a platform to showcase their small and large-scale enterprises. While many were related to showcase their creations, they related that a limiting factor is the packaging facilities. Additionally, service providers and other sponsors were present to highlight their businesses. Consumers were yet again reminded to buy local items which are of good quality and function as well as imported goods. Rupa Sinurain, The Evening News.